Today I'm going to be learning more about the German language, one of my favourite languages and something quite interesting. This is nine savage German insults you should start using. So I know that a lot of German words are used in other countries in the UK, the US and so on. So I wonder if these could catch on in these countries as well. Tell me if you use any of these insults. If there's any other good German insults that are not in this video actually, then tell me in the comments. I'd love to know. Maybe I'll make a video saying some of them or learning about them as well. Uh, yeah, let's check this out. Guten Tag, ladies and gentlemen. The incredibly handsome man sitting for your camera right now is me, Daniel Lucas, and I am German. And us Germans, we do get a bit of a bad rap, let's be honest, fully deserved. We are great at winning football cups, great at making cars, terrible at winning wars. And we also get a bit of a bad rap for our language, for it being too aggressive, too guttural, for it something like the Nazi version of Klingon. But let's be honest. It is not that bad. It is a deeply poetic and artful language. And that's why I make now this Tisch mal kaputt, yeah? Damit you can make it. I need more context on this. A real German talking about German insults. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Have you ever had the problem of whether to call someone a pig or a dog? And you couldn't make up your mind? The disgusting man you were talking to, he was a little bit of a pig, but also a little bit of a dog. Do you call him a pig and leave the dog part out? Or do you call him a dog and ignore the piggish behavior? Well, don't fret. We Germans have the answer. Call him a Schweinehund. 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 Schein Schweinehund. This literally Hund. translates to pig dog. You will never have to choose how to talk to disgusting men again. <laughs> and the other one is probably one of my favorites. If someone is really bad at a task and they're just being an absolute idiot at it, try calling them Arschgeiger. 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 I like that man. Geiger. Is that anything like similar to gig and press? Arschgeiger. 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 This literally translates to as violin. And I don't think I need to explain any more because as violin is just an awesome word that, that should true. be used by everyone in the world. You fucking as violence. The next subset <laughs> of German insults is used to differentiate the virgin German from the Chad Deutsch. The virgin German does a lot of weak, effeminate activities, while the Chad Deutsch is a strong man who's not affected by anything. As a fellow weak, effeminate man, I don't really <laughs> understand these, but I'm sure we'll figure them out together. First word is warm duscher. Warm duscher. Warm duscher. Warm duscher. A warm duscher is someone who likes to take warm showers. See, I don't see the issue with that. Warm showers are quite nice. Yeah, that's one thing I've seen before uh, when I was learning about the German language or about German culture. And they said that's a thing like it's seen as effeminate to have a warm shower. I actually never have anything but a warm shower, even though I live in a country that's 32 degrees every day here in Malaysia. I still love a warm shower. I just feel more comforted. So I guess I'm a warm doucher for sure, man. Apparently to be a true German, you should take your showers cold as fuck and come out shivering. <laughs> Otherwise you're weak. Hot shower. More like hot garbage. Jeans Bukla. <laughs> Jeans Buchler. Yeah, tell me where you stand on the warm shower, cold shower debate. What do you prefer? Why do you prefer a cold shower if you do, man? I just know there's no comfort, there's no enjoyment for me in that, man. It's just painful. But uh, yeah, I'm a weak Scotsman. I definitely like a, a Scottish warm doucher. Jeans Buchler. Jeans Buchler. That is someone who irons the jeans, which again, I don't really see an issue with. Makes them look smarter. The last one, probably <laughs> the funniest one, is tea trinker. Tea trinker. Is that just tea drinker? I don't know. Tea trinker. The tea trinker is someone who drinks tea, which is absolute virgin behavior. A true <laughs> German would never drink something as effeminate and weak as tea. And we also hate the British. Yeah. Who doesn't hate the British? <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like I should be slightly even offended but i'm definitely not i don't drink tea i've i don't i've never had one full cup of tea in my life i love coffee that's all i drink espresso the darkest strongest coffee as possible i need that's all i drink i agree i agree man i'm a i'm anti-tea as well tea drinker all right ladies and gentlemen we have gotten to the cream de la crop the best of the best these will change your life just by knowing them these will be so good you will learn german just to be able to insult people like this Evolutionsbremse. 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 Evolutionsbremse describes someone who's literally so stupid that he has stopped the entire evolution leading up to him and wasted it all. An Evolutionsbremse would be, for example, someone who believes that 5G is causing radiation, or someone who believes that coronavirus is a government conspiracy. Next up, we got a t <laughs> Can you... Telly Tubby. Zurück Winker. Read this. <laughs> Teletubby Zurück Winker. Teletubby Zurück Winker. Okay, Teletubby, I get. Winker could be wanker. I don't know. Zurück Winker is intriguing, but any any insult that has a Teletubby, I guess it's going to be aimed at maybe fat people or something. I don't know, man. But uh, what other defining features are there of a Teletubby? I'm not too sure. Maybe a bit. Like nothing in the head, I'm not sure. A Teletubby Zurückwinker is someone who waves back at the Teletubbies when they're raving on the TV screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.
<laughs> so again, not the smartest of fellas. People who have traits of a teletubby zurückwinker would do things like film themselves lifting weights in the gym, or sliding in girls' DMs the day after their breakup with their boyfriend. You know, just the absolute most intelligent people. <laughs> this is probably my favorite word in the entire German this language. This guy's sarcasm is off the chart. I've heard, to be honest. Missgeburt. 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 Say it with me. Missgeburt. Missgeburt. Missgeburt describes someone who's so incapable of being a human being that he is a stillbirth. You're literally calling him a stillbirth. Misgeburt means stillbirth. Oh this person goodness. is so incapable at life that didn't even make it out of their own mother's womb intact. And that is what I thank all of you are for watching this video till the yeah. end to get alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a misgeburt. That is, that is, that's dark, man. That is, you can't really insult anybody any more than calling them a, a stillbirth. Great stuff, Germany. Again, like, got an amazing language, got amazing insults as well. Tell me what you think about these. Have you ever used any of them? Have you used all of them? When have you used them? Is there any you just wouldn't use? Uh, great. I should have expected great uh, insults from the German language, and yeah, I wasn't disappointed. Thanks.